Good morning, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and call to order the 815 called <coughs> meeting of the Bristol Virginia City Council for January the 31st, 2013. Uh, first item is adoption of the agenda. I move that we adopt our agenda as presented. I'll second. Uh, motion from Mr. Farnham, second from Mr. Pollard. Please call the roll. Farnham? Yes. Holmes? Yes. Nave? Yes. Pollard? Yes. Osborne? Yes. And just let the record reflect, reflect that Jake Holmes and Becky Nave are appearing via, via Zoom today. Yes, thank you. Uh, we have one item on the agenda, and it is approval of award to SCS Field Services for Landfill Gas Collection System Expansion, Stage 1, IFB S123012. Uh, no one to sign up for public comment, staff report. Uh, Council, we have before you an award to approve the SES Field Services Landfill Gas Collection and System Expansion. Uh, this is part of the expert panel report um, advice that the city needs to do in order to uh, help alleviate the odors at the landfill. This would call for an additional of 35 uh, gas extraction wells within the landfill. Um, the base price of the bid is roughly $4.1 million. There are some things that may have to be changed throughout the process that could increase that total cost an additional $6 million. Um, and I think we're in the process of, and the engineers in the process of trying to determine um, just exactly what would be needed as we go through that project. I don't think we want to know what will be needed in addition to the base price of 4.1 million until, um, until they actually get in there and start doing the work. Um, we do understand that there'll have to be still casing in some of the gas wells due to the temperature uh, of the landfill in certain areas. We don't know how much still would have to be used. Um, and that's something that will just, that'll be determined throughout the process. I wish I could give you a better estimate as to what this price would be, but I think we could safely say the price is going to range anywhere from $4 million to $10 million to complete this project. And I think Jake and Joey have additional information and maybe you can go into a little more detail on the price and if you have questions. All right, thank you. So before we get into discussion, the first thing we're going to need is a motion and a second. I'll so move. I'll second. Motion for Mr. Pollard, second for Mr. Farnham. Council discussion. One thing that some people have contacted me about, and y'all were copied on some emails on similar topics, um, as to whether this project will include, and one person said that it's commonly included with such projects, um, whether there will be perimeter uh, air uh, monitoring uh, not just at the wells, but around the perimeter to uh, show if uh, any uh, emissions may be escaping the immediate area so that uh, the issues can be addressed before they escalate. I'm not aware that there'll be any perimeter, air perimeter monitoring at this time for the drilling. Um, I know in the past times that we've drilled, there has been no air perimeter monitoring for the drilling. Just to uh, just to recap, <clears throat> what was the number we had? Uh, <clears throat> we had a certain number of gas wells in the landfill before, and then we added more. I believe that was in 2021, <clears throat> and now this is for an additional 35. What was the total number uh, that we that we've got in there? That is uh, currently 39 wells. 39. Okay. So this brings the total to 74 there. It'd right. 35. And a lot of these will be perimeter wells around the sidewall. So mm -hmm. not necessarily in the middle of the landfill like you see them now, but a lot will be around the perimeter to collect the mm -hmm. gas uh, around the sidewall. And they're all essentially tied into the system as a whole, which goes up and out and over to the flare or to Njinko. Yes. So 
so you, you touched on it in your staff report. The, the range is anywhere from $4 million to $10 million. Um, so that's a, that's a fairly large range. You know, that's, the range is bigger than the initial price tag. Um, and I know you mentioned, you know, steel availability. I, I, is that the only thing that's, that's making that number so, so wide? Because that's, that's a big, that's a big gap. Mayor, is the, uh, the cost of the, this steel pipe, uh, CP, PVC pipe is only um, good up to around two, 210 de degrees. If we use steel pipe, which of course is, is good for uh, you know, temperatures of, above that, then the cost increases. The cost steel pipe versus the CPVC pipe. So that's the major difference in costs. When will they know? Like, will, will, will they just call us one day and say, hey, it's, it was $4 million, now we need another $6 million? Is, it, is that how it will happen, or will it just come in small increments? Uh, it would, would come in small I increments based upon the temperature that they find at depths in the landfill, the waste mass, the temperature. And th that would determine whether we're going to use CPVC or, PVC or steel pipe based upon the temperature. Do you uh, know if in the emails that we received there were references to people making a request of uh, the Virginia Department of Health? Do you know if they've been asked for any recommendations that they may have for monitor for perimeter monitoring or other that, I environmental don't know monitoring? I, and the Virginia Department of Health was contacted in either 2021, I think 2021, maybe even 2022. And they either didn't weigh in, or if they weighed in, it, they just said, we're not getting involved at this point. This isn't a Department of Health issue. I, I don't know if they'll get involved now or not. But the, um, we, well, we know that the landfill is affecting quality of life for the residents. Um, and regardless of how the emissions are, are uh, categorized, whether they're considered to be gases or what have you, we know that it's affecting quality of life. And we know from the contracted experts that the problems are going to get worse through this process and likely a lot worse. Um, and who has said that? But SES said that, uh, and you've repeated as well, that the process of drilling is going to make the, the smells worse through the process. It's a necessary process, granted, but I'm unaware if I've ever said that, but they cap the gas wells every night when they drill. I mean, we, we went through this back in, when they just uh, finished drilling last year. Uh, I mean, they cap, they cap the wells. Well, they cap the wells at night, but what about the gases that are released during the, the necessary process of drilling? Well, I guess the question is, do you not want us to drill? No, I, um, I guess I would like some feedback concerning the what potential precautions we could be taking that we may not currently be taking because the recommendations we've had so far have been based more on the gas components or the emissions components. What recommendations would you like to implement? Well, if, if uh, someone with state level funding, such as the Department of Health, makes recommendations, perhaps they could help provide some of those, such as the air purifiers that people have asked for. I don't know that they would make that recommendation, but uh, uh, it may help to, for the city to seek that recommendation, not just residents. We've reached out to the Department of Health in the past. We've reached out to the Department of Emergency Management, uh, Emergency Management presented here to council. Uh, they said that this is not an emergency that they would cover, nor would they consider it an emergency. Um, you know, it's uh, totally up to the Virginia Department of Health at this point if they want to step in and assist. Have we reached out to them in the past year as we've been developing these plans? Um, not that I'm aware of. And that's mainly because Bristol, Tennessee's experts said this is not a, there's not a health matter here in regards to the gases. And that's what others have said as well, that there's no uh, immediate impact to health. 
Would it hurt to reach out to the EDH to see what they say? Well, I think uh, based on the email, it seems like Hope for Bristol has done that. I just wanted to say just kind of a, a big picture statement. It's really for the five of us up here. You know, we're, we're, um, we're voting and we're spending taxpayer money, and it's a large amount. But I just keep thinking that, it, of course, it's a necessary expense. You know, we need to continue to follow the plan um, according to, you know, the DEQ, the expert panel, uh, so the, you know, things at the landfill are taken care of properly and, and quickly. So, um, you know, it's never fun to vote to, to spend lots of taxpayer money, but we know that it's something that is necessary. All right. Uh, if there is no further discussion, uh, if the clerk would call the roll, please. Farnham? Yes. Holmes? Yes. Nave? Yes. Pollard? Yes. Osborne? Yes. And uh, just for the clerk's clarity and clarity of people listening at home, the, the vote over the phone was a little bit muffled, but Mr. Holmes voted yes. Correct. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, being no further items, we stand adjourned. <laughs>